Today we have a very special guest at Roofing Insights. Her name is Itzel Romo. She is the Latina Business of the Year in Atlanta. Roofing Insights and Itzel have been friends on Instagram for quite some time. Listen how she describes her business. We describe ourselves like a group of lions with a pride that takes care of everything for you, just like the lion takes care of the jungle. Let's go and talk to lioness. Teach me how to train a girl. <laughs> how did you go from television to roofing? For money. Listen, if people are mean to you when you door knock, I don't want to ever door knock. <laughs> You're the safety freak. Now my rule is you don't have harness, let's go to your home. Obviously, you're a girl, you go into people's houses, a lot of people would be concerned. I have both. If I'm pretty, I'm super pretty. And I just need to select when, I'm, when I have a box to the front of the other guy and when I make a pretty. So he wanted you, but not. <laughs> what size cougar paws are you wearing? <laughs> Seven. Seven? Seven. I didn't know they make seven. Was it hard to find? I've seen the cougar paws, they're like... The more small one, and you see yesterday, yep. is the more small one cougar paws. They're the smallest cougar paws they make? Yes, I think so, yes. But probably need to make it other sizes, because it's more women's in the industry. <laughs> okay, do you like cougar paws? Do you feel safe in them? Yeah, I love it. Sometimes I use my regular shoes, and I'm more comfortable with the with the cover pads. Not for too much time because it's very heavy. Very, I like it. Yeah, love it. What's the hardest part of this business for you? The darkest moments that you rarely share. Uh, when when the guys don't put attention on the safety equipments and things. So I'm I'm. I'm a Spider-Man and I don't know what the people think. <laughs> I'm a Spider-Man. And it's very high, I don't put the harness, and they say, you need to put the harness, and if, yeah, 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 yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> Macho and, Man. And when I see one guy fell down, on the big problems, and pick it up the guy and call the 911, I think so that one is the more hard part. So you're the safety freak? What's your procedure for safety? What's requirement? How do you keep them safe? Uh, always the harness with the... How do you deal with it when they don't want to wear harness? Uh, now my rule is you don't have harness, let's get you home. Love it. If I see a harness on flooring, I pick it up the harness and it's, who is the owner of this harness? And say, me, let's get you home. You're a tough. How many of you do that? Not many men will do it. Will they, will they listen? I see one guy on fell and I say, never again, let's go, everybody put it. Even on 412? No, the good part is not it's six and it's two histories, it's no big one. Two stories and six, love it. Have you ever felt unsafe during the inspection or appointment? Yes. How many times? I feel like there's more than one time by your answer. I think so two or three times. Very unsafe. How unsafe? Tell me. <laughs> okay, depends. What do you tell me unsafe? Equipment or well, you, people? You tell me. The what is your question? Unsafe. Okay, unsafe equipment or Un people? Just being like you know, I don't think man. I mean, I've been unsafe one time here in Atlanta as well years ago. It was very tricky situation. I didn't feel safe for my safety. I thought I would be gunned down or something. Very bad neighborhood. But for you, what's unsafe? Obviously, you're a girl, you're going to people's houses, a lot of people would be concerned. I have one customer, and he told me, the insurance approved, uh, the insurance is USA, really good, it's super easy. When I clamp the roof, the roof is 14, 14. No, 12, 12 14, 12, yeah, yes, 14, this, 12. sorry. But uh, he received the first check, and okay, he's super nice, and when I pick it up the check, um, I go to pick it up the check, and he told me, okay, but come in at my home, and I bring the check, but when he told me something, I say, uh-uh, this is not good. And he said, no, I can, I can go to your home, I'm waiting outside of, of the home, just bring me a check, and I can send the guy tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. He told me, if you don't come inside, I don't bring the check for you. And then I say, uh, I don't like that. And I said, no, I don't, I don't go inside. And when he tried to film me on the, her home inside, and I said, hey, and I'm, I'm super nervous, and I 
go to my car and never call the police and I nothing. I'm just crying on my car. I said, what? I'm sorry. But I say, what's going on? I called to my brother and I say, what's going on? He told me left and I called the police and blah, blah, blah. You called the police? My brother. But I can say... What did they do? Did the police do anything? File a report or anything? No. Nothing. Because I can't inside. I can... You, you he he say I'm crazy and he, it is not. It is not true. Did you get the job? No. <laughs> of course, no. And I called the insurance and they said, well, this is the situation. And the insurance told me, I'm sorry, but he is the, the owner of the policy and I can control nothing. Okay. Give me one more story of you being unsafe. Uh, it's a similar situation where I already made the, check, the house. It's the second check. And when I'm arrived at home, he has a diner. <laughs> uh, but I go with other guy to, the, to my guys. And he say, where is the diner? My, my other guy say, and I say, oh, no, it's for my wife. Blah, blah. I say, oh, OK, good. But obviously not for the guy, but he, OK, X. And I say, OK, I need to pick it up the check, and I need to bring the warranties, and blah, blah, blah. And he told me, oh, I don't have the check yet. Uh, I don't have checks, and I don't have money on my account. And he has a check, but he don't bring me a check, because I'm going with other guy. I don't know why he thinks. And I say, OK, I need a check because I just come here to pick it up the check, not for a diner, and not for, I'm just picking up the check, and that's it. I told me, no, I'm sending for you uh, and tomorrow because I need to go to the bank, and the bank right now is closed. And I say, he don't bring me a check, the second check. And I say, OK, but I'm, I'm not safety, and my guy is not safety. I, I don't have idea who is the guy. And I say, OK, let's go. And I said to my, my sales rep, let's go, let's go, and the guy on the he calls, and I say, hey, uh, he calls me. Hey, you come back, and I have the check for you, but don't come back with the guy. And my guy. So, so he wanted you, but not. Exactly. And the guy said, blah, 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 blah. I never received this check. And I have a lien on the property. You and never get a check. So he wanted you to. That's just shady. I just have one more. Do you ever carry, like, a knife with you or a gun or anything like that? <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah. Well, what do you have? Gun? Yeah, gun. Awesome. Well, I'll take my license. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is necessary. More in Atlanta, most in East Point, it linked with some areas. Yeah. And you uh, never know. In my, no, I don't have the gun in my, ba in my bag, but I have the, I don't know. You have concealed carry? Filler, yeah. Nice. Every time when I'm good. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you enjoyed this interview, please comment below your favorite part. We will pick one best comment and send you our custom t-shirt. You can find all our custom designs at teespring.com or somewhere below this video.